If you've been wanting to learn to install and use mods for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Mod Guide. Hello everyone, I'm Pudge007, and welcome to the first tutorial video for the Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain mod guide. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install mods to the Phantom Pain using the Snakebite Mod Manager. To get started, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to download the Snakebite Mod Manager. So if you just go to this link that I have highlighted here, um, that link is also located uh, in the description below this video. So just be sure to go to that link and it should take you directly to the Files tab here but if not just be sure to click on files uh, and then the latest snake bite uh, version is 0.9.1.2 as of March 17th 2019 uh, or just be sure to go um, to the latest version which should be highlighted here under main files and then click on manual download and that download should uh, go directly to your downloads folder you see that's where it did here and so just for simplicity's sake, uh, this new zipped folder that we have, I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. Uh, I'm just going to get these out of my way. And I'm going to right click on this new zipped file here and click on Extract All. And then click on Extract. Um, here's the new folder with the extracted files. Uh, it was made here on my desktop, automatically opened here for me. Um, and now you have the Snakebite installer ready to use. So I'm just going to double click on the Snakebite installer. And I have a Windows 10 PC, uh, so it's just making sure that it's not any not type of malware or anything like that. So I'm just click on, click on more info and click on run anyway because this is safe uh, to use. And then you get a license agreement. Just be sure to agree with that. Uh, just make sure that the snake bite uh, is checked here before clicking on next. And then click on next again where it just chooses the install location. And then you're just going to click on install. And then from there, uh, it should have the installation completed and you'll be able to tell because you'll have this new snake bite shortcut located on your desktop. Once you have Snakebite installed, just be sure to double click uh, on the shortcut that was created on your desktop. And then you're just going to click on next from here. And this is important, so before you run the Snakebite mod manager, be sure that you have Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain installed on your PC. If not, it's not going to work. So for me, um, if you have it on Steam, it should automatically find it for you. Uh, but for some reason you don't or you have it saved in another location, you just click on these three dots here and you should be able to browse and be able to find where you have your game saved. Now, regarding the revalidating the game files, this is just something that you do if you've been already modding the game or you've been tweaking some of the, the settings with some of the game files already before running Snakebite Mod Manager. Uh, especially if you've been uh, tweaking some of the 00.dat or 01.dat files. So if that's something that you have been doing, be sure to revalidate those before you run this. Uh, but if that's something that you haven't been doing, that's something that you have to worry about. Um, so at this point, and you have that selected, uh, so it knows where your Metal Solid 5 The Phantom Pain uh, game is located, you're just going to click on Next. And at this point, it's going to prompt you... Uh, whether if you want to back up your existing data or not. I would highly recommend that you do this just uh, just to make sure, you know, if something happens and something happens to the manager. Or uh, if you want to toggle the mods on and off, the backup data is something that you have to have. Uh, so if you don't want to do the backup, you can hit skip. But I highly recommend that you do have the backup data. So from here, click on next. And then from here, it's just talking about some things it's going to back up, things it's going to tweak, for, so snake, the Snakebite mod manager can run like it needs to. So from here, you're going to click on Next. Now, this will take a few minutes to, uh, to complete, so if you're still sitting there after a couple minutes, so it hasn't finished, there's nothing wrong with that, so that's normal. So from here, just click on Next. 
and just give it a couple of minutes. Two minutes later. All right, now it shows that the setup's complete. So from here, you can click on done. And at this point, the Snakebite Mod Manager is set up and ready to be used. Now at this point, every time that you open up the Snakebite Mod Manager, this is the screen that will pop up. Now before we start working with mods, I just want to show you a few things in the settings section. So at the top, that just shows you the location where you have uh, the Phantom Pain uh, installed on your PC. And you also have the Setup Wizard, this tool here, so if you want to go back create some backup files or if you want to go back and revalidate uh, the gaming files that we did at the beginning of the setup wizard you can go back and do this here um, if you want to permanently remove all mods let's say if you've already put some mods in uh, with the snakebite mod manager you've already done that and you want to remove all the snakebite settings the mods do all that you just click on the restore the backup game files now you can only do this if you had that backup that i was talking about earlier so if you need to do that you can click on that here uh, also if you want to toggle the mods on and off remember you have to have that backup in order to be able to do that if you want to toggle them off this is where you would do that you can just click on that it'll say disabling mods please wait now they're now they're turned off but you, all you have to do to turn them back on is click on this and now your mods that you have installed are back on so i just want to show you those settings there now at this point we're ready to start using mods for the phantom pain so at this point you're just going to click on mods now the mods that you will install to to use on the phantom pain will be located here but of course we don't have any of those uh downloaded now you have to go find some of those. Uh, just for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install a mod that I use. Um, it allows me to use DualShock 4 prompts on the game instead of Xbox prompts because I use a DualShock 4 controller for the most part when I'm playing PC games. So the file that I use, if you just go to this link here, and it's also in the description below this video. Uh, it's, it's DualShock 3 and 4 buttons icon, Snakebite. Um, I use the DS4 icons native is what I use. For some reason, use a DS3 controller, which I don't think most people can really as much anymore. But if you use a DualShock 4 controller like I do, you can use this manual download here. There's something I already have on there. Just, just how you download and extract like any other file. Um... And you're just going to click whatever mods that you do download. You're going to click on install.mgsv file. So every file that you have that you're going to put on Snakebite is going to have a .mgsv at the end. Uh, so for the one that I have, it's the DS4 underscore native. I'm just going to double click or, or click on hit on open. And it's going to pop up and... Sometimes if there is uh, a possible discrepancy, you're going to see this exclamation point here. So if you just click on that, it's going to say this mod appears to be for this version 1.0.12.0. But it may be compatible regardless. Um, it says it's recommended that you check for an updated version. I have checked. This is the up most updated version. Uh, so I know that it will be okay. And that's going to click on continue installation. And it just says the following mods will be installed. You just click on OK. It's going to run through its course. And now, uh, this DualShock 4 native button icons is now installed. Now, at this point, once you're done installing all the mods that you want to use uh, for the Phantom Pain, you can either, um, if you X out of this, you can click on Start Game here. Or on the mods page where you just were. Uh, you can click on launch game here. Either way, you can choose one of those to start playing Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain with mods. Prior to installing the mod, notice after I open up the pause menu, go to the control and manual options and choose controls. All the control prompts are set for an Xbox controller. However, after installing the mod, you'll notice after going to the same exact options, all the control prompts are now set for a DualShock 4 controller. If you have any questions or comments about this video or any tutorial requests for how to install specific mods to the Phantom Pain using Snakebite, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. 
And also be sure to check out my next video where I'm going to show you how to properly install the Man Who Sold the World mod, which, spoiler alert, is a texture mod that revamps Venom so you can play as the real Big Boss. If you found this information useful or enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And also be sure to click on that bell to where it says all notifications so you get more uh, videos like this one. And also so you won't miss any future Phantom Pain mod tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.